AMT. Innovating. Educating. Changing lives. Hi, I'm Dr. Janice McDaniel. I work at Akron Children's Hospital, and today we're going to talk about AMT gastrojejunostomy tube placement. For an exchange procedure, the gastrojejunostomy tube is usually already in place. That's kind of a placeholder for us. So what I would do is I would initially just step on fluoroscopy and get an image and make sure it looks like it's still in good position. If I have a question, I will eject contrast through that tube just to see where it's at. Otherwise, you can just go through that jejunostomy port with a guide wire. Once you get the guide wire out about a few centimeters past the tip of the tube, then you can deflate the balloon. And then while keeping the guide wire in place, you're gonna pull the tube back off of the guide wire. Once that's done, then you kinda got your position held with the guide wire, then all you have to do is slide the new tube that we've pre-lubricated uh, over the end of the wire. When you're backloading the, the catheter over the guide wire, in order to straighten out the tracts from the jejunal port to the tube, you can put your thumb right in that crease kind of give a little pressure and then when you push the wire through it should come out every time. Once the tube's almost in I will step on x-ray again to make sure it didn't move, kink, change position before I put in that last few centimeters. Then I'll inflate the balloon. and then I can inject the jejunostomy port with contrast to confirm that the tip's in a good position. I usually try to leave the tip of the catheter right at the duodenal jejunal junction. The nice thing about the gastrojejunostomy tube exchange procedure is that I don't need to use sedation for these procedures. It's minimally painful. Children tolerate it very well. I do think it's a wonderful way to exchange the feeding tube and maintain patency without having to use any sedation or anesthesia. Thank you for watching.